Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2011. So we are here with this problem 15 of your paper. This is an analysis problem, so let us have a look. Consider the following subset of R. So we have two subsets of R which are defined like this, okay? So E consists of elements which look like this such that N belongs to natural number and F consists of elements such that 1 over 1 minus 1, uh, sorry, 1 over 1 minus X belongs to F conditioning that 0, uh, X is in between 0 and 1. From this side it's op uh, closed and from this side it's open, okay? Then both E and F are closed E is closed and F is not closed. So the question only talks about the closed thing, okay, about E and F, whether E and F are closed or not. So what we will do, we will proceed with your E first, okay. What is your E? Your E set is like this. N over N plus 1 such that N belongs to natural number, right? Now, if you will add 1 and subtract 1 on the numerator side and then the, by separating it the LCM, then what you will get, you will get this thing. Are you getting my point or not? So this is what we can uh, do right now because this will be very helpful for us. Now what we will do, we will draw a number line and on the number line, we will try to figure out uh, what's going on there, okay? So, let us say this is your number line, okay? Now, let us say this is your 0 and this is your 1. So, just changing the color for a second, okay? Now, red color actually represents the element inside E. So if you will place n is equal to 1, then what element do you will you will will you get in inside e? You will get 1 minus 1 by 2. Right? So let us say this is your 1 minus 1 by 2. Right? Now after this, if you will place n is equal to 2, what you will get? You will get 1 minus 1 by 3. Now initially you are subtracting 1 by 2 from it. That's a bigger number, right? So it lies here. Now you are subtracting 1 minus 1 by 3. You are subtracting 1 by 3. That's a lesser number. So it will lie here, somewhere here. Okay. Are you getting my point what I am talking? 1 minus 1 by 3. Now 1 minus 1 by 4 will lie somewhere here because you are subtracting less and less and less. Okay. Now if you will keep on going like this, in the end you will reach this process. Okay, but it will never touch 1. Are you getting my point? Because since this number 1 over n plus 1 is never 0 for any natural number, so you will not never reach 1. That means these, uh, the, the points inside E does not contain 1, right? E does not contain 1. So from here what we will be concluding that 1 is actually a limit point for the set. This is what we need to conclude, right? So how we will conclude that? Let us see. So what we will do, we will draw again a number line, okay? So let us say this is your second number line. Let me place it a little bit here. Okay, so this is your second number line. Let us say this is 0 and this is 1. Now what is the definition according to you? about the limit point okay so we say a point let us say a we say a point a is is, is a limit point if a minus epsilon comma a plus epsilon okay i am talking about the real okay i am talking about the real thing a minus this uh, small a right is empty is non empty sorry so this if this thing is true for every epsilon greater than 0, if this thing is true for every epsilon greater than 0, then we say that this point A 
is a limit point for the set capital A. Are you getting my point? So this is what we are going to use. Now you choose any epsilon. So let us say this is 1 minus epsilon. This is 1 plus epsilon, right? So this is the in interval that we got. Now, do you th think that this interval will intersect with E? Okay, this is my E, right? Do you think that this interval will intersect with E for every epsilon? Yes, it will. Why? Because in the end, you are getting things like that. Because you will get infinitely many numbers near to zero, near to one. Are you getting my point? So it doesn't matter which number you will choose. You can always get uh, a point which is in common between them. Are you getting my point or not? So what I have done so far, I, I, I'm trying to show you graphically this thing. I can do it mathematically, but in the exam, but doing mathematically may take time. Okay, you should feel it. So once you feel it, you are done already. So from here, what I have proved that one is the limit point. Why I am doing this long process? Because it will be helpful, us, helpful for us to determine whether E is closed or not. Now, what do you know about E? One does not belongs to E, but one is a limit point. Right? Are you getting my point? So a set, a set capital A is said to be closed if it's closer. What is closer? Closer is A union A dash. Okay, derived set is equal to A. So this is actually the definition for closedness of a set. Now, if this is true, then we said that this capital A set is closed. Now, what is happening with E that if you will try to find out its closer, then one belongs to E closer, but one does not belongs to E. This means E bar can never be equal to E. Are you getting my point or not? So this is the strategy to show whether this set is closed or not. Now the same thing we can do for F. So let us see how. Okay, now I am doing this F thing. So what is your F? Your F is like this. 1 over 1 minus X such that 0 to X less than 1. Right? Now, let us try to draw a Cartesian plane in order to understand this F set in a good way. Right? So I am just considering my function to be 1 over 1 minus x. Okay. So now let us say this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. Okay. And let us say this is 1. And this is 1 let us say here on this side. So see when you place 0 over here you will get 1. So your starting point, okay, I should draw it with some other color. So let me use this color. So the starting point is somewhere here, right? Now after that, if you will place a number which is greater than zero, okay, okay, a little bit greater than zero, then what you will be doing, you will be actually uh, decreasing the denominator. So if denominator will be decreased, the whole thing will be increased. That means that point will lie somewhere here. Are you getting my point? Now, if you will place a more bigger number than it, then it will lie somewhere here. So finally, you can say that graph will look like this. Now, when you will place one, you will get infinity. So it's going to act like this. Are you getting my point? So this line X is equal to one will act as a asymptote for this one. Okay. Now this, this is a okay this set is a subset of r it's not a subset of r square this f set that we have is a subset of r so that means we need to draw it on the number line so the same thing happens here also so now let me just uh, erase this number line and add a different number line here okay so now i am just adding a number line Okay, so now let us change the color. 
so c this is 0 this is 1 right now what is happening if you are uh, if you are placing uh, your x from 0 okay okay if you are placing your x from 0 what is happening there that you are getting like something like this okay i should draw okay i should draw something from here uh, from this number line let us say this is your 0 and this is your 1 so once you place 0 you will reach here once you place a number bigger than 0 you will reach somewhere here so you keep on increasing unless you reach 1 so once you reach 1 you will get some number like infinity are you getting my point so what is this set f finally you are you, you are getting value 1 right but what you are not getting you are not getting infinity okay you cannot achieve infinity you can just reach there so f from here is what close close interval 1 to infinity are you getting my point so now this is a closed interval so we can say that uh, this is a closed set you got my point or not so this was very easy to show that f, f is a closed set because I showed that x is exactly like this which is a closed set okay you can prove that yourself if you don't understand why it is closed it's very trivial to see why it is closed so a option suggests both e and f are closed b suggests e is closed but f is not closed which is also incorrect that means c is correct and d is incorrect you got my point what i was doing so this is how we can solve a question like this okay you have to do it graphically i i don't appreciate always doing uh, mathematically okay that's good you are doing mathematically but firstly you should uh, have a feel of this if you got a feel then you can do it mathematically if you don't have a feel then doing mathematically is just a waste are you getting my point so thank you